Hello, my name is Nick Harmon, and I'm a sophomore from Gretna High School. We say Gret, you say Tana, Gret, Tana, Gret, Tana. <laughs> November 18th, 1989. You're the portrait hanging on the wall, the last one at the bottom of the steps, first one coming up. Next, your pigment, binder, solvent, and additive that add up the small grin only two-year-olds are capable of creating. Teeth showing in odd places, your little sailor shirt is all I remember of you, but I don't remember you. Ten years my elder, eight years of nothing, all I'll ever know is the bleak strokes of a brush, the spoken words, the best photos you could get by 1992. I'm told that when you, eat, that when you would eat M&Ms, you would give them the black ones because they were burnt. I'm told that you, your favorite animal was an elephant, so mom bought tons of little elephant statues to put around the house. I'm told that you loved going to church every Sunday, so at least she knows where you are now. How can she do it? Carry on day after day, trying to look after her three children. When her first is in the ground, 145 miles, two hours away, but you are not just miles away, you are 10 years away. If you could have just waited eight more years, then I would have rolled around and you would have been a big brother, 10 years old and two little brothers to look after, imagine the responsibility, but you would have handled us. You would have been perfect. In middle school, I was jealous of everyone with an older sibling. Why did they get one? When I got my mom crying for a week every year, I have so many more questions. What would you be like? Who would you love? Who would you hate? How would you act? How would you act around me? It's difficult to wrap my mind around how different I would be if I always had you by my side, but you're not by my side. You're in the rabbit puppet in the back of my closet. The rabbit puppet that my mom would put on her hand and pretend to be just to make you laugh, make the situation seem not so real, but the situation was real, and the doctor visits were real, and the pain that we feel is real. You are real, at least you were. but the rabbit puppet in the back of my closet is not enough. <laughs> the portrait hanging on the wall that I look at every time I walk up and down those stairs are not enough. The little elephant statues in my room, they're not enough. The black M&Ms that I sometimes throw away are not enough. Nothing will ever be enough because you are gone. March 28th, 1992.